Hello, welcome, my name is Abedako, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I want to share with you uh, some points for the African youth, uh, some few lessons that I can share with the African youth. I know that a lot of the times this is a common word, the, the, the youth of Africa, the youth of Africa, and when they talk about the youth of Africa, they are talking about um, the, the, the force, the, the strength of Africa, because this youth is the future as we keep. Uh, hearing all the time whatever that we put in the young people the young men and women of our continent in the next 10 years they are the ones that are going to take uh, leadership positions and make critical decisions for our 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 countries and our continent and uh, whatever they know when they get there that's what they are going to do if they don't study now that they are they are they are in their youth when they get there the very things that we don't expect them to do uh, that they would do uh, some few I mean if you scan through social media you see um, there is a lot of consciousness a lot of force uh, that uh, you know that is coming from uh, our youth and sometimes I see that uh, the, much of it will need some kind of redirection or restraint and so if you're if an African youth especially those who have gone to school um, much of the education that you've been given, just as I keep saying all the time, um, the skill, the reading, the the the, the writing, the maths, they are key uh, skills that you have. But the content of the education that you're giving, uh, you may have to um, edit it. You know, you may have to edit it. So what I would say is that don't feed on the negativity. A lot of our young men and women, out of frustration, are feeding on the negativity, the sensationalism. You know, and the common the common phrase is uh, our leaders are corrupt. They don't think of us. They are, they, you know, corruption everywhere. They, they, so long, you may be right. There could be some kind of, you know, you may you. But why do you wait for le the leadership to solve the problems? Why don't you also take? In, is somebody preventing you from uh, taking leadership positions? No. And so instead of you to wait for five years, ten years of your life every day talking about the leadership, the leadership, maybe take the leadership yourself, you know. And the first lead that sign of leadership is lead yourself. And much of the leadership that you give to yourself will come from the kind of uh, mindset that you have developed. And I, I say that in as much as you see problems, every, I mean, you th a lot of our youth think that everywhere in the world is okay, except Africa. And uh, especially people who live outside will also uh, uh, confirm that all the time every little thing you will hear those um, much but uh, be proud of yourself as an African youth be proud of your achievement the fact that you're able to go to school have something to eat you have dream you a lot of our youth are very ambitious and for me that is a great achievement for all of us we want the best for ourselves and we want the best for our country be proud of your country as well it's very difficult for you to succeed in a place that you have no belief in so if you have no respect no regards for yourself and for our continent and you think everything else is lost it will be very difficult for you to uh, do well with your life and i would i would dare say respect our leaders in spite of all the things that you you probably have some you know clues of and you think that i may not know what i'm talking about i still want to say respect have much maximum respect for those who represent us those who lead us respect for them the very words that you don't you don't want anybody to use for you, uh, don't use it for anybody. Don't you especially don't use it for people uh, who lead you, who represent you. You may disagree with them, but don't insult them. Don't insult them. Don't just sit somewhere and pick my you know your phone and just insult everybody and think that what you're doing would put pressure on them. And really, a lot of the times, if you want somebody to act and do something which is good, it's not the insult. Especially if somebody that you don't really have power over. It's not under your uh, authority or under your leadership. Therefore, it's more of, you know, uh, yes, you can put some pressure, but it should be done in, in, in respect, in decorum, you know. So have respect. Don't, don't feed that, uh, that negativity where you just open your mouth and insult. Even if you don't like the, part, the, the, the I mean, party politics, you don't like the other party, you don't like this one, but still restrain yourself and restrain yourself and respect them argue your point put your points uh, there but in, instead of you uh, insulting them all the time it's not the best way the other thing is develop your mind 
the sports, the entertainment, the comedy, those things um, may not necessarily develop your mind. Develop your mind to the extent where you know what to feed your mind and what to expect. Much of your decisions should not just be based on emotions and superstition. Much of your decisions must be based on data and facts. You know, where you know that, okay, I've read these books on this topic and therefore I have different position. And most people would just talk about things that they just heard somebody say. They really don't sit down to study any subject, whether it's money, whether it's career, whether it's their own uh, vision for life. Maybe they want to build business, whatever that you want to do. Maybe you want to build some product, you want to write a book, you want to produce a movie, whatever that you want to do. Sit down, do your own research, read some books, ask questions from people, watch some video, go for some seminars. And then after that, inform, take your own decisions. A lot of the things that you are not able to do is because you don't have the right data. Data is false. That knowledge is actually false. So um, feed yourself, your mind rightly. Feed your mind rightly and don't wait for help. You know, as much as it's very tough, sometimes you don't have anybody to help you. You have no family. You have no help from anybody. You have searched for a job for five years. You have not had it. Still, don't wait for help. Do something as little as you think you can start with do something for yourself you have applied um, uh, you know for you have you have sent employment letters to you know you have cvs everywhere nobody has called you if you so need a job take any job if you so need a job take any job because a lot of the times we don't even have any skill for anybody to give us any job you know so take any job at all and once you take any job, whether it's cleaning, maybe it's anything that you may, you may, you think that your certificate is way ahead of it, don't just go to look for a job because you're looking for pay. No. A lot of the times, you just want a place to start your career and build network, build skill, start to know the industry. You, know, you, you may never know where that step, that little step will take you. The same with business. If you want to start business, start with any little thing, any little that you can do. Because the force really is in the starting your wisdom is in the starting it's not just writing and packing you know and doing a lot of nice things but uh, there is no first step <laughs> and don't waste your time on a lot of the things that take your time if you have no vision for yourself people will waste your time and most often people who waste their life because they didn't have any vision commit to develop a product a business a service commit to do something there are so many challenges that you see around in our communities in our country on our continent what is it that you can commit yourself to solve? What is it that you can commit yourself to solve? So my, my name is Opinda. I'm talking to uh, the people we call youth in Africa. <laughs> and uh, some of them are very intelligent, but a lot of the times they compare themselves too much with Malaysia, with Singapore, with China, with America, with the UK. And they think that their country is not doing well. A lot of the times when people have never been here, when they come here, especially Ghana, they see a lot of things that we are doing rightly. When I want to be very much positive about the things that happen in our country, a lot of the times I don't talk to Ghanaians and I don't talk to Ghanaians who live outside about the positives and the optimism that I need to build in myself about our country. Because most of us have been programmed to just focus, master the errors, master our weakness, master all the problems. And talk so European radio is always about, um, you know, people are always talking about you know the things they talk about. All the things that we don't do well. Hardly you will hear the things that we do well. Why? Because of the programming. So we're always talking about the roads are not good, the water is not coming, the electricity is not coming, you know, the, everything else. We don't have jobs, our politicians are evil, you know, everything else. There is religion everywhere. Yes, in as much as you know, people are not honest, they are not, they are corrupt. A lot of the, a lot of the times I engage in, you know, some kind of debate with people. But I say that you cannot change any group of people. You can change them when you visit on the on their weakness it can never work you can you don't become great by, by by feeding on your weakness you can only develop if your child is in school for instance if your child is very good with mathematics but they struggle with english you know maybe the mathematics comes easily but they struggle with language what you want to do is you want to help them to cover some basis of the language but a lot of the times their strength you develop it so much that the strength will take care of their weaknesses
but most people will forget about their strength and then start to look at the you know they want to master their weaknesses the things that they struggle to do you will be average you may not be so much great in that thing so you you blow up the place that you are doing so well it's like that a lot of the times your errors cannot even be seen it's not that your errors or your weaknesses may not be there they may be there but you get to a point where you fight so much with your strength that you start nobody will know you as a great person by mastering your, your weakness they know you as a great person by promoting your strength your talent your expertise that which you're very passionate about and then but people can easily destroy you uh, through your weakness and so you don't leave the weakness you cover the weakness but then you are not fighting with your weakness <laughs> you don't go to the war front with the strategy that you know you have not mastered you go with the strategy that you know and that's why anybody wants to hit you they hit you from your weak position not where you're very much strong you know so if you're a youth in Africa these are the things that we want you to master master your strength master the good things focus about the positive things about Africa there are so many positive things here it is very easy for you to start a business here very easy very easy to just start to do something open a shop somewhere open a kill somewhere start a cocoa farm somewhere start to teach people somewhere the regulations are not so much complex when you want to start something a lot of the times the regulations are, are, are frustrate us to become great big you know but the regulations don't so much uh, stop us from starting and that's a good thing at least you can start something easily with, what, with whatever that you have that is an opportunity and and if you if you feed on the fact that everybody else is great but Africa we have nothing uh, you are doing yourself a great harm don't pack your life and wait for visa the time that you get to Dubai or China or America you'll be so much disappointed 